Hello and welcome to this very exciting presentation, I think we'll call it. Uh, my name is Robert Llewellyn. I'm here at the Braintree GridServe Charging Hub. I'm sure that's not the right term, <laughs> specific terminology, but I'm here with Toddington Harbour. And you have got some really exciting news. I just think this is amazing, the, the, the speed of this transition. So we came here, I think, last year, the first time. And, you know, it, it, what you've done here is incredible. What, what you're rolling out now. So I'll just quickly explain the history for those of people who haven't been following it. Anyone who's driven an electric car in the UK will be aware of what was called the electric highway. It was run by Ecotricity. It was a very brave first step. They, they were first out of the gate in many ways. They put a, a charging network across the entire country, every motorway services. It's fair to say that in the long run, they didn't really have the capacity to maintain it to the degree that we would really love. And sometimes they were a little bit unreliable. But what's happened now is GridServe have taken over that charging network, which is so exciting. So every sing is it will it be eventually every single motorway services in the uk is the 99 percent well so at least uh, 85 percent. so first right. of all thank you so much no, for joining for, for this this fireside chat <laughs> yeah, <look at> that. <laughs> this is a, a this is zero carbon net zero carbon <laughs> fireside chat because you are at the electric four court it is powered by uh by net zero by carbon solar, energy yeah uh, we are having a fireside chat but it's not real fire if anybody's wondering um <laughs> And uh, I've got to remember the question now. So, yeah, well, you know, absolutely. So, you know, the electric highway was the was the network was the first charging network that uh, Dale Vince um, and Simon Crowfoot and others kind of put together many, many, uh, many years ago. When I first bought my first electric car in 2014, it was the one that made it possible. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's just it, I'm really kind of pinching myself that we we managed to do it because we we obviously did this um you know this kind of exchanging of the baton, is yeah. how we put it, with, with, with Dale and the team um, uh, about a month ago. Um, and so it's now become the GridServe Electric Highway. Yeah. Uh, and that's actually the big thing that we're announcing today. So, you know, it, it was called the Electric Highway, although most people kind of thought of it as Ecotricity, because that was yes, what it always, mostly it, on the brand. We would say an Ecotricity charger. You did, we didn't say an electric highway charger. Yeah, but for me, it was very nostalgic. I knew it as the electric yes. highway. Yeah. I knew it as that thing that got me out of trouble a yes. lot. You know, I um, I used mostly the CC, the AC connectors, which were right. I thought very reliable. Those were very reliable. Very and reliable. so was Chadamo. Chadamo was very CCS reliable. Was it was the CCS problem. that was yeah. that was the issue. Um, and uh, you know, I have nothing but the highest regard for, yeah. for what was what was started. And so it's really exciting that you know, you know, <laughs> several many years later, um, it's now you know it's now us that, that's taking it to the next stage. Mm. So it's now um, as of today officially called the GridServe Electric Highway. So that's one of the things we announced this morning. And the reason we're having this, this fireside chat is we put a press release out this morning and there's loads of stuff in it. You know, there's yes, loads there's of detail. there's a lot of information. Yeah. And we just thought we could never, you know, get everything across uh, in that. So I kindly asked, you know, I asked Robert and Robert kindly said, he'd come and, come and have a chat with me as we can kind of talk some of it through. So in terms of the brand, the, um, the GridServe Electric Highway, uh, we're at Braintree Electric Forecourt, yeah. as, as Robert said. Um, and uh, and so as of today, what we're doing is is our entire network, we're re you know rebranding it right. the GridServe Electric Highway. So whether you're at an electric forecourt, or when we put a group of electric chargers together, we're going to call it an electric hub. Just right. kind of you know what is that? You know it's an electric hub. Right. <laughs> What's that? It's an electric forecourt. Right. And so uh, as of today, whether it's an electric forecourt anywhere, we'll talk maybe later about some of the new ones that are coming, or it's an electric hub on the motorway. Uh, and actually, it was a long answer to your question, 85% of the motorway network, right. um, then it's going to be called the GridServe Electric Highway. Right. And I mean, I've used now a, a couple of your new chargers, and it's a very, very different experience. So the one at Rugby is, a, is a, I guess, an electric hub on yes. the rugby services. Absolutely. Which is, a, you know, when you drive there, and you're one, and in the olden days, you would wonder, one, whether it would work, two, whether there'd be someone else using it. Um, and now with that, you don't wonder that. You just know, yes, it will work, and there will always be one spare, and there's so many of them there. There, there is no anxiety, is yeah. there? Yeah. You, just, you just know. You know you're going to turn up, because there's, there's 12 uh, 350 kilowatts, like super high-power chargers yeah. that, can, that can charge, um, uh, can charge uh, vehicles up to, you know, in theory, you can put about 100 miles in in five minutes. Yeah. Most cars won't accept that yet, but there's 12 of them, and next to that is 12 Teslas. Sure, yes. And uh, in fact, we're going to talk more about that in, in, in a minute. Um, but yeah, you know that that's the blueprint of what people need. Right. You know, no anxiety, and instead of that, just a fantastic experience yeah. to give people the confidence. You know, why why wouldn't I? Yeah. You know, let's and, do it now. And it's the ease of use as well. I mean, it is that thing which 
a lot of people have talked about them, and I know we're talking about this later, but, you know, the first time I went there, I drove up and I went, I'll have a go with this one. I plugged it in. I went, bloop, with my card, and I walked away, and it yeah. was charging. I just did, there was no other, I didn't have to do anything else. You know, yeah. There was no apps, no membership cards, no nothing yeah. else. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, loads of technology exists now that didn't when, didn't, you know, when, when, when they created the electric, exactly. contactless yeah. payment. I mean, who would have thought about that? We I mean, yeah. never thought about contactless payment, no. did we? You know, even chip and pin was a big thing, and then yeah. contactless, and is this, you know, how's this going to work? So what we've done is we've gone through a great deal of effort. Now, it's actually really difficult to make it really simple. I bet, But yeah. we've gone through, like, a load of effort to make this, like, system that's just designed to be easy. So you don't have to know anything about electric cars. You don't have to know anything about memberships or whatever. And we're going to bring out loads of new stuff in due course that people can do if they want to. But the base level is, you know, you walk up, you plug your vehicle in, it says swipe a card, and you go, oh, okay, swipe a card. And, uh, and it works, and right. that's it. And, and the whole idea about the, um, the new network of the grid-serve electric highway is to say that's not just in Braintree or, or rugby, but, but you know, across, across the UK. The, yeah. And that's the yeah. objective, because if anybody can go anywhere in any type of electric vehicle without any anxiety and actually a really great customer experience, that's what's needed. Because you know, we need, you know, grid-serve, our, our goal is to deliver sustainable energy on such a, needle, uh, on such a scale we can help move the needle on climate change. Yeah. The way I kind of look at this um, is that uh, you know it, it, there isn't there isn't very much time, no. um, as we know. Um, you know, I've got four little look, you know, young daughters, and um, the oldest is six, so she hasn't got the window of opportunity to address climate change no. in the way that we have. This is kind of decade you know issue we've, we've got to, we've got to tackle. Um, you know, my my parents they didn't really know about yeah. it, although actually my parents did a pretty good job. Uh, as it as it goes, but um, but uh, you know, so it's down to us collectively. Well, I mean, there was a great quote, and I wish I could remember who said it. Is that we are the first generation to understand the problem that yeah. we're facing, and the last one that can do anything about it. And yeah. I think that is a very critical thing, and I'm seeing this throughout yeah. the industry. You know, people are yeah. going, no, yes, I, we are doing this because it's a business, but prim the primary drive of it, and it's, it's even the same with fully charged. The primary drive of it is that this stuff really needs to change and as fast as we possibly can. I mean, that's a it absolutely point. has. And, and that's, that's you know, to, to do it, I've learned a lot over the years. I've done loads of projects building various sustainable energy companies. Um, even had a project with the United Nations and I was at the last climate change conference. And I kind of came to the conclusions that most people, because we're busy and, you know, got too much to do, most people won't do things if they're either really difficult yeah. or they cost more than what they're currently doing. Yeah. It's just a hard bar to move yeah. um, and obviously everyone's busy doing everything that they do anyway so we're, we're thinking well if we can make it easier which you can't yeah. tell us that's easy yeah and actually we'll show you something later yes. which oh. is even easier oh. uh, and less expensive <laughs> yeah and actually it's less expensive to use an electric car than a, a petrol and diesel one and you can lease it for a lot less you know money now than petrol and diesel when you include the life cycle costs and that's what's needed because you know yeah. the government's laid, laid down the gauntlet you know the incredible commitment to say, right, we're going to get to net zero carbon yeah. emissions within 28 and a half years. Yeah. Um, and to do that, we're going to really drive change, including a ban on petrol and diesel cars in eight and a half years. In eight and a half years. It's eight very and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, how's that going to happen? Well, to do that, people need to want to do this. Yeah. And, and so what we're building today and announcing is a network that will hopefully give people the confidence to really, really want to do it. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's a key thing. That we, you know, I get these messages all the time. You know, I'd love an electric car, but the public charging infrastructure isn't up to it. And I go... If the public charging infrastructure is exactly the same in 2030 it is, as it is now, you're right. Yeah. But clearly, what we're seeing happening, particularly in this case, is that it won't be the same. It will have developed an enormous amount and be yeah. a very different, or a very different world we'll be living in even by 2030. Yeah, definitely. You know, and and whilst the objective, um, whilst the objective is uh, is to, um, is to you know, you know, banning new petrol and diesel cars by 2030, eight and a half years. Our plan is is why wait? You know, yes, let's do it do now. It yeah. Let's do it now. Yeah. And, and you know, and obviously to, to do that, to deliver that mass amount of charging infrastructure, um, then we need serious money. And yeah. we, we're very lucky that you know we announced previously, and we've had amazing support from Hitachi Capital, right. um, uh, now Mitsubishi Hitachi Capital, um, and um, you know, who've really just kind of got behind, believed the vision. You know, they've got one of the largest uh, leasing businesses in the UK, wanted to transition their their, their, their fleet to electric. Um, and believe that you need the infrastructure, it needs yeah. to work. Uh, and so that's been great. They've really backed us, they've really supported us, and they're continuing to do so. Um, but we're also announcing today that we, we have a new investor too, right. and they're, they're just amazing as well. You right. know? So it's called, uh, they're called the Rise Fund, um, and they are the impact uh, investment platform of, of TPG. Um, so, you know, really, really well capitalized investor. Right.
you know, ethically fully aligned to where we are in terms of being an impact investor. Um, we started talking a little while ago, we, our initiatives, it just kind of clicks, you know, yeah. you're working with the right people. You don't have to say, you know, we want to do that because it's the right thing because they want to do it because it's the right thing. Right. So just an amazing, amazing bunch of people, amazing initiative. And um, just so excited. So that's another thing that we announced today that they've, they've also come on board, not just to back, you know, what we're doing in the electric highway, but just the vision as a whole. Right. To deliver sustainable energy, move the needle on climate change, make it happen. Yeah. And uh, so I think it's an important thing to, you know, I mean, we talked about it on Fully Charged in the past, but an important thing to remind people watching this is that you, you you also generate an enormous amount of the electricity that is supplied to cars here. You know, yeah. it isn't, you haven't just built this and you're taking the power from the grid. You've done you've already done a yeah. massive solar farm that is powering this. And particularly today, it's going to be a good day. Yeah, definitely. Today <laughs> is a cracking day. You know, lots of solar miles being generated. I mean, we um, we uh, you know we had a, um, a a pretty ambitious looking plan, um, and the ambitious looking plan. Uh, was to um, uh, was to ensure that all of the energy that we generate through this network is either um, is either zero zero carbon energy uh, or net zero carbon energy, right. and that's what we do. So this is an electric forecourt, um, but uh, but about 44 miles up the road we have a solar farm, and that solar farm produces enough energy for uh, around uh, 5,000 electric vehicles for an entire year. Right. Uh, and every kilowatt hour that we take off this. Um, site here that we don't produce on site because we've got solar panels as well. We net it off um, against a there. zero carbon kilowatt hour that we uh, that we put onto the grid. Um, but I mean, presumably that's why having a big investor and having some serious money, because this is, I think, the fascinating thing is the the in the early days of electric cars, it was it was sort of government money to put in one charger or local councils behind the town hall next to the library, you know, one isolated electric car charger. This is a business where business people who've got business brains and are thinking how do we sustain a long-term business are going yeah this is important let's put money into this yeah and you know, it's, 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 it's just really so changed. important i think that's what originally caught hitachi capital's kind of interest and um and that's now what we're going to scale it because you know they're having the, the electric highway the grid serve electric highway with charging across the uk uh, that means we need a lot more energy yeah. and that's what we're scaling up for as well right. so building a lot new you know many more hybrid solar farms um but actually it's interesting because people say to us but aren't you taking you know land away from other purposes? Um, and the way that we look at it is we, we think that you know there's actually a way of giving back as well, and there's more more to come on that. Right. Um, but we're also looking to turn and are turning in fact our hybrid solar farms into nature sanctuaries. Right. And and wherever we can, we're also looking at you know s supporting biodiversity because as well as climate change being the biggest challenge of our generation, um, it's just really sad that that in the last uh, less than 50 years humans have wiped out 60 percent of the world's wildlife. Yeah. Um, and so what you can see behind you there on our, our far side picture yes. uh, is real wildflowers, uh, actually a picture of real wildflowers okay. at, at the electric forecourt. And wherever possible, we're doing taking measures to, to support biodiversity yeah. as well. Um, but yeah, you know, really exciting. It's a kind of a sun to wheel network. If I'd explained, you know, I did explain to people a few years ago, you know, that we were going to build a new energy ecosystem and, and, and a way forward, a net zero equivalent of well to wheel. So instead of building, um, building, uh, oil wells and, and refineries and pipelines and petrol forecourts and, uh, and combustion engine cars yeah. to have solar uh, solar farms, batteries, yeah. um, cables, <laughs> uh, electric forecourts, electric hubs and electric vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. People would have thought that was a, a quite a significant undertaking, but you know the good news is it's happening, it's right. all happening. And, and you've got it. batteries here, haven't you? With those batteries backing up the... Yeah, we've got, a, uh, we've got a five megawatt battery here, six right. megawatt hour that can store enough energy um, to drive around 24,000 miles in an electric car. It's a right. wonderful thing about batteries. They've got batteries that take them, but also yes. you can store energy. So we can either shift you know, 24,000 miles of wind at night yeah. or, um, or 24,000 miles of solar in the day. Right. And in the meantime, we can balance the grid too. You know, and thanks to just incredible investors, you know, the RISE Fund, which we're announcing today, and obviously the continued support of Hitachi Capital, it's, it's just fantastic. Yeah. We're able to get on with the stuff. Brilliant. So let's go to the next Thing, which is the, the well the upgrading of the existing motorway chargers, which is and I I believe you've yeah. actually been to see a special one today. Yeah, so we we we've been on a mission. We've been on a mission because you know whilst I have you know the, the highest regard for for what the electricity team did, I think everybody knows those chargers need replacing. Well, they're quite they're, old anyway. They're, they're old technology, yeah. um, and so our mission is to get this done quickly. And I think it's fair to say we're doing it quickly. Right. Um, we are. Um, we've changed 50 sites in six weeks already. Wow. 50 that's sites. Crazy. 50 sites. 
Right. And, and by the way, I'm sorry if there are people out there that, that, that things haven't worked perfectly yet. Um, you know, there, there might be glitches. We're putting a It's difficult. We're not just putting in charges. We're putting in kit. We're putting in um, contactless devices. Uh, we're putting in uh, you know a whole bunch of software, different interfaces, and you know it, you know this some things you know they've never been put together before, yeah. and we're putting them together in a hurry. Um, so it will be awesome. It will be perfect. I mean, it's, I think 95% of it is great. Still, there's a Five percent bits and bobs that are kind of, you know, uh, you know, a little bit glitchy, but um, but we're on it, and uh, and we're on it really quickly. Right. Um, so you know, the good news is we've done 50 sites now. Uh, we've got over 150 sites in the networks. There's 100 more to go. Right. Uh, and we'll have them all done by the end of September. God, do you think so? By the end of September? I know so. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I know so. We 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 are on it. We hashtag deliver. Right. <laughs> But presumably some of those sites, I mean, I've talked to a guy who ran one of them, one of the managers at a motorway, you know, that they're restrained with you know, either phone signals or Wi-Fi signals or uh, power supply. You know, I mean, yeah. that, that's presumably one of the... the that is exactly the, the know, sort of the, things that we're yeah. challenging. You know, yeah. you know, the actual charges are really reliable. Yeah. It's the... The in, connectivity. It's the, it's the connectivity. It's the phone connections. It's the, uh, you know, it's, it's the software. It's the, that, that's the stuff that's... And, you know, this equipment has never been designed to be put together. Yeah. Um, and so we're putting a lot of it, to, and you need to to give that really amazing experience that's yeah. seamless. It's not just chargers; it's also the payment devices and everything else. But we're going at, at a serious rate, and um, yeah, you know. So the good news is, is that all of the old chargers will uh, will be replaced, um, and uh, and you know, and our plan. I, I say I know it. I mean, we obviously need the full support of our, our motorway service partners to yeah. do it. You know, yeah. but but providing we have that support, we're going to absolutely, and we and we have that support yeah. as far as we were. We will. Um, we will continue to, uh, to to get this done. And so by the end of September, uh, charging on the motorway will be reliable. Right. You know. Right. And uh, but that's not all we're doing. No. You know, because in addition to uh, <laughs> in addition to that, let's move on. Um, yeah. Rugby was great. Yes. You know? rugby, rugby was great. Is amazing. The, yeah. the first electric hub. And um, so that was, that is the first one. Okay. That is that is that is very that, very. That's impressive the first one. We wanted to show people what we meant when we said yeah. you know we're, we're we're upgrading it. We're putting six to twelve high power chargers. Um, I mean, this is a um, this is a luxury that uh, that really only Tesla drivers have had so far. Um, that you can just turn up, it will be fine, everything will work, and uh, and there's going to be lots and lots of charges. Yeah. Um, and the good news is, is we are you know we're building the electric vehicle charging network for everybody. Yeah. For everyone, you know, for Teslas as well. You know, Tesla is awesome. We love Tesla. I'm a massive, huge well, I'm, fan. I've of just Tesla. charged my Tesla on your charger. <laughs> I mean, actually, and they're too we have, fast. Yeah, they've we've done got Tesla's, Tesla, Tesla here as well at Braintree. Um, absolutely amazing, uh, you know, and obviously the goal of Tesla is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable yeah. energy, which is, I guess, why we fit so broadly to get so well together as, as a business. But the good news is, is that um, what we're now going to be delivering is that same type of experience, but for any type of electric vehicle in, 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 at all. Um, and that's what you get at rugby. Yeah. Anybody turns up, any EV, um, no anxiety. And uh, but we need a lot more rugby. So, so we've announced the day that we're going to deliver a lot more rugby. Right. Um, and the plan is to deliver at least 50. Uh, the objective is, is obviously more. <laughs> it's always but more. 50 of that scale where you've yeah, got that. Yeah, that scale. Wow, so that's we incredible. won't always put 12 in initially, no. um, but you know, at least minimum of six new high power charger, 350 kilowatt uh, chargers, um, on at least 50 new motorway sites. Right. Uh, and we're in a hurry. Yes. <laughs> and right. as you, you said rightly, we we do things in a hurry. Yeah. Um, and that's what we are. So you know, hopefully people recognise now as GridServe that I've, I've been very careful over the years to only save people we're going to do something if we're actually going to do it. You're going to do it. Yeah. And, uh, and we're going to you know, hit it. Because you know, there's a lot of people who make promises and you know, our, our commitment is to really deliver sustainable energy and move the needle on climate yeah. change. And to do that, you need to deliver. So yeah, th there's, 50 new, um, there's 50 new electric hubs coming. Right. Um, we are very advanced uh, in this process. Um, we've got, fortunately, as I mentioned, the, the capital behind uh, to, to you know, really to implement really the, ne the, the, the next phase of, uh, of this infrastructure. Um, and uh, yeah, and we're on it, and it's um, very exciting. So, and what about actual forecourts like this one? I mean, are you because that, that's you know when I when I, I remember first seeing the, the drawings or the idea of this and talking to you a long time ago, <laughs> and just going that would be amazing. <laughs> thinking, of course, it will never actually happen. And then I came here and I went, oh my god, that's like the drawing. <laughs> you you actually did that. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. So so they all have a purpose. So being an EV driver for um, uh, you know eight or so years. Um, you get to kind of work out that there are lots of ways you need to charge. If you can charge at home, that's clearly yeah. awesome. 
Um, but there's around 40 or 50 percent of people who just can't. You know, 40 probably don't have driveways, and, and probably more than that because you, you just got power challenges to upgrade yeah. at least quickly. Um, so there's a lot of people who don't. And even if you do, when you're going on longer journeys, then you need somewhere to charge. Um, you could put really big batteries in now because that would work, but that would make the cars very expensive, yeah. and that would stop more people getting them. Um, and uh, you know, so you need to kind of cater for both. So an electric forecourt is designed to serve a local community. You know, in the same way that you get most of your, you know, petrol or diesel, you get it your, your petrol forecourt. Yeah. Electric forecourt is designed for that purpose. So in this vicinity, the 150 odd thousand people that, that live around uh, around Braintree Electric Forecourt, um, there's you know, at least 40 percent of them, let's say don't have the ability to charge at home. Yeah. So when you build something like this here, then they don't need to worry about that. Yeah. And the, the, the most amazing thing for me is that the first person who ever turned up to charge at Braintree, um, not only was he, he called Brian, which is the name of my father, he would love that, but uh, he said, I, I just bought my electric car uh, because I saw you were building this and I couldn't charge at home. So it's like, yeah, wow. <laughs> Customer number one was the perfect example. Yeah. Huh? It was amazing. Yeah. Um, so that's great, you know, if you can't charge at home. Obviously, it's not just about that. Other people have got other solutions and we support all of them. Yeah. You know, home charging, other, every option, you know. Well, destination it, charging, supermarkets, all those things. All Cafes, of the above. Restaurants, yeah. And in fact, that's, that's also the next piece. So when we're delivering electric hubs, we're either putting on the motorway network, um, 6 to 12 high power, but we're also building uh, destination electric hubs too. Right. Because if you're going to go to your supermarket, for example, or, you know, or, you know, there are lots of different places that Shopping you could go to. or whatever, yeah. Whatever it might be. It would be useful if you could go there and also be able to charge your vehicle yeah. in a meaningful way for the time you're spending in that destination. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, so the good news is is that there's uh, there's 50 more on the motorway coming, and there's a lot more coming not on the motorway. Um, and we just thought we let people know that because yeah. it wasn't maybe immediately obvious in the press release, and you know, it's coming. We're going to make it awesome. Please bear with us. You know, I'm sorry if the existing charges are not as amazing as they should be. Uh, and there aren't enough of them. Um, we're doing our very best. We've, we've, we've added charges that can charge two vehicles at the same time. Yeah. We're waiting for a software update, so that can't happen yet, but it's coming very soon. Right. The reason it's not out yet is because it's being fully tested, and we don't want to release something that, that causes someone a problem on the roadside. Yeah. Um, so, so that's happening. Um, the other challenge that we've been trying to you know, grapple is, fortunately, we're getting into kind of like a standardized world. You know, It's a CCS yes. world, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't a CCS world no. not long ago. It was, you know, certain companies only making AC chargers, yeah. certain companies only having Chatham ODCs, um, and, um, and, uh, and most now CCS. Yeah. So we're provisioning for most CCS, because that's what we have, and our data is yeah. showing that. But we, you know, we want to be the network for everyone. Right. So we are, you know, 100% committed to providing existing legacy vehicles with really good charging good solutions charge. wherever yeah. possible. And that includes Chatamo uh, and that includes AC. So, yeah. and, and for people who are concerned that, about the um, why you're only putting one Chatamo in, we're also looking at that. We're putting three chargers in. We're going to put uh, three sites with six chargers. We're also going to uh, add another Chatamo to that too. We said we would. Uh, and we're putting the high power hub, uh, um, electric hubs in too. And we're also going to add more Chatamos as well. Right. So, you know, we're on it. Um, but obviously we need to you know, most cars these days have got CCS. All the new ones. And, most and AC as well is really important. You know, yeah. if there wasn't AC chargers at motorways, <laughs> I would have had challenges yeah. over the years too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's coming. That's very wonderful. It's coming. So what's next is the, well, this is very interesting. Electric Highway Customer Charter. Because I suppose yeah. that is probably, you know, a, a, a gripe that I definitely heard is, I got to the charger. This isn't this isn't ecotricity either. This is generally. I got to the charger. It didn't work. I rang the number. There was no one there. You know that kind of support that you sometimes need, particularly if it's two in the morning. That's always a yeah. challenge. We, we need to be accountable. You know, we need to be accountable. If somebody is going to um, join this transition and say, right, I'm no longer going to drive a petrol or diesel car, which I know I can use um, with no anxiety or stress and so and so on. And, uh, and they're going to say, actually, I'm going to transition to a pure electric vehicle. Um, and we're going to be a really key part of that solution that's helping make that happen. And we need to be accountable. Yeah. You know, like particularly the motorway network. I mean, you use it for, you know, you might be traveling to see your friends. You might be traveling to see an LV relative. You might be on holiday. You might have a kid. There's just like you go to university, Matt. There's just a lot. Yeah. And, and you just need to know that if you're going to make the transition, it's going to work. Yeah. And so... You know, we just don't think it's good enough to put in charges um, and have a, you know, and not also be accountable for, for, for delivering. So we've kind of, um, you know, really taken that on board. And we produced today an, an electric highway customer charter. It's on our website. 
Um, and some uh, a flash of inspiration from <laughs> one of our colleagues who, who actually worked out that the words that we'd used spelt out grid surf, so we can remember it now. There, there's like there's nine <laughs> there's nine <laughs> words <laughs> uh, oh, that, that, that that we're using. You know, from green, greener, dependable, inclusive, and, and and so on and so forth. So please have a look at it. Um, we appreciate that we are exposing us. We're putting our head above the parapet. Yeah, there. yeah. You know, people are going to say to us, but you know, but grid surf, why? You know, why aren't you doing that? That's not in line with what you've committed right. to. And we're going to say, yeah, you're right. You know, we've yeah. got to do better. Um, but we're not going to shirk from it. Right. And, and so what we're saying today is that, you know, we get the responsibility. We understand it. We hear the frustration that people have. And we fully, fully understand it. We're EV yeah. drivers ourselves. Yes. You know, if I we turn up at a site and I can't charge, and I've had that in the past yeah, like, many a times, yeah. um, and I ring up and there's nobody to talk to and, you know, there's no satisfactory solution and I'm stuck, that's just not good enough. No. And anyway, we get that. Yeah, and, I think. Uh, I mean, and I think what that also does is it gives people confidence. You know, if they've never bought an, have never been in an electric car before, and they understand that, if they see your work. So, what's the that is gridserv dot gridserv dot com gridserv dot forward slash customer hyphen charter. Um, You'll find it. Please You'll, have a look. They'll be clever. Um, they will know hold us account. You know, <laughs> please give us a bit of teething time to yeah, like settle in. We've only time. been the owner of this for a little while. And, but you know, hopefully, you can see that there's real intent. Yeah. Um, you know, we and then um, you know, we, we genuinely want to make this awesome for everybody. Because behind it all, I keep going back. It's deliver sustainable energy mobility on climate change. It's yeah. up to us, not just me, you here uh, talking, uh, but everyone, us, yeah. everyone available today. We're the last people that have got a chance. Um, to make a difference. And yeah. the is that right? last people that have got a chance. Yeah, first generation understood last generation that can do anything about it, which is pretty daunting. Yeah, so to do that, we need to rise to this challenge, make it happen well before the government's objectives. Yeah. Um, you know, and again, thank you for the government for making it so clear. You know, without the government yes, saying we're going to, you know, absolutely, it would be very hard to, to mobilize the sort of investment that we yeah. are. It's because the government has said, right, net zero, yeah. no ifs, no buts. And it's going to happen by these stages that now investors have the confidence to really get behind this. I mean, it's, it's it, not, uh, not if. It's another bit of news today about the Nissan Gigafactory up in Sunderland. I mean, you know, that is, they Amazing. wouldn't have done that if they didn't know there was that. Some, I think they've had a few. I think they've had a few quid from the government to, to encourage them. But it's good. Well, it's, it's great, isn't it? If yeah. they have had a few quid from the government and the government supported it, yeah, then good. Then, Yes. Brilliant, you know, yeah. like I, you know, brilliant having having batteries made in the UK yeah. as well. Wow, really so cool. that's fantastic. So that's another thing we've announced. That today. is very good. Um, so then there is, and now this is lovely. So a new interactive map, ZapMap integration, because I'm a ZapMap user. So yeah. that's the and you know, and there's all there's look, I've got other five other charger maps on my phone, but actually I use ZapMap. Yeah, all the time, ZapMap's so. great. And uh, and the good news is that as of next week, we will be fully integrated. We think to ZapMap, right? Um, which is really important. Um, so that people can just use a solution to find any map in the country, any charger in the country. Yeah. When we say integrated, we mean they'll be able to see is the charger in use right. or not. You know, I, can I have the confidence to turn up there? Yeah. Also able to provide feedback as well. Um, and so that, that will be fully integrated, um, right. the chargers, which is great. Um, not the older ones, um, because we're focusing on the newer chargers. Right. Uh, so the team at Ecotrist is still looking after the older chargers, and we're, you know, we're, we're right. part of that. But uh, but the main thing we're but focused right, on is basically by the end of the year, it's, they're all going to September. Be yeah, by September. End, end of September. Yeah. So, but in addition to that, we're also working on our own solutions too right. to support, um, and that includes a new map. So we've produced a new map today. Right. It's amazing. It shows all the chargers. It shows where they are. Um, really easy to access. You can link it through to you know Google. It says you know how to get there. Right. Uh, it shows if they're in use and they're not. Um, and and it, you know it, and it's great and and it but it's also the start of something a bit more special yeah um, because you know the most amazing thing that that Tesla well Tesla does so many amazing things yeah. but uh, one of the most amazing things of having an electric vehicle um, uh, you know in 2014 I got a Tesla but but it didn't have all of the technology yeah um, uh, and uh, and so it was kind of like a blank canvas and I saw that all come in and and, yeah. and I was almost you know with a, a pencil and paper kind of working out. How do I get there? You know, yeah. I did this, this crazy journey with my wife. Thank you for persevering um, uh, to south of France and back, and we, yeah. we very nearly didn't make it. Um, and we had to do all these calculations, and yeah. and then all of a sudden Tesla kind of introduced all these apps. And then I suddenly realised one day that I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah. Because I just need to say where my destination is, yeah. and the vehicle will say, oh, no problem. You just need to stop here, 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 and here. here, here. And It'll and be fine. For how long? For how long? Yeah. And you'll be there. Yeah. And uh, and that's awesome if you have a Tesla. Um, yeah. But you know, but everybody else needs it as well. And yeah. the good news is, is that we're also on that too. Right. So uh, that all that's coming. It's it's much harder. It's more difficult to do. 
Um, yeah, to cover every vehicle type as well. Yeah, but yeah. but we're on it, and I'll right. show you a little bit later as we right. have something something you know exciting safe at the end here. Don't you, um, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Um, but yeah, you know we we've got that in development so right. that uh, to give anyone the confidence, say I want to go from here to there in any type of EV, anybody, and they'll say right, okay, brilliant, you know, and it'll work it kind of through. And yeah. Again, that's quite tricky to work out. There's some very you know quite sophisticated technology in there. Yeah. Um, but that's the plan, and, and the start of that is the map. Again, just introduced today. It's not as perfect as we might like, but um, it will get there. <laughs> you know, we like your feedback. We'll get it better and better every day. And, and um, people can find that at gridserve.com as well. It's, it's gridserve.com yeah. forward slash map. I forward think. slash map. That's easy to remember. <laughs> that's <laughs> what we try to do. Simple, <laughs> easy, you know, less expensive is Let's the go idea. On to the, the next one. The okay. Question, which is so, EV leasing, right? Because I remember talking to you about this before, which is very good. And then are the trees, I want to talk about the tree because that is really intriguing. So people can come to GridServe and lease an electric car. Yeah, so this whole kind of plan is to build, again, make it really seamlessly easy. And, you know, it's great that other people are making it easy and leasing vehicles, but we want to, to make it, you know, be a part of that ourselves. So we're not just building infrastructure and hoping people turn up, but we're building infrastructure and making it really easy for people to, and, and you know, giving people incentive to want to get into EVs and so on. So nice. we launched um, an electric vehicle leasing business, again, in partnership with Hitachi Capital uh, at the end of last year. And our vertical, le our, our, curve, our learning curve has been vertical. Right. Um, but it's, you know, it's starting to go really, really well. Um, we're now able to lease all the major types of electric vehicles. And, and our objective, and again, it ties in with everything else I've said, is, to, is for it to cost less overall. You know, so if someone's gonna lease a petrol or diesel car, and pay petrol versus an electric car and, uh, in, and either pay for electricity or have it included because one of our options is to have energy included right. which we wrap back to the solar energy we make in the first place yeah. um, and we make it less expensive than petrol and diesel then again you know that that's the objective yeah. um, so that's working really really well and uh, you know again you know people considering uh, leasing an electric car please do, do go and have a look at, on our website as well but the thing that we also said is that you know we appreciate that there are um, emissions that are produced when you make, when you make vehicles car. as well. Yeah. Even though some car manufacturers are already making, you know, carbon neutral cars, which is amazing. So, yeah, but they're, uh, they're reducing. I mean, because it's always been my rank when people say, oh, do you drive one of those green cars? I say, no, it's not green, it's a car. You yeah. know, that meant that stuff was mined, it was transported, it was refined, it was made in a factory. It's a car. It has an impact. Yeah. You know, the manufacturing of it. Yeah. But once you've got it, it gets cleaner and cleaner over its lifetime. And that's it the It definitely the does. And, and the other thing that we, we you know, we wanted to do is that we get everyone's busy. Everyone's got, you know, my, my wife, as I mentioned, had four little children. So, yeah. you know, has she got the time in her day to plant a tree? <laughs> like, it's quite yeah. tricky. You don't just want to plant a tree. You need to plant a tree that's right for that location. Yeah. Um, and so what we've done is we've, uh, we've tried to work out how we can, through our activities, help people who lease vehicles with us do something really positive for the environment in right. addition to getting an electric car. And so we, we work this amazing company called One Tree Planted. Uh, this this charity um, NGO. I mean, they're they're just amazing. They're they're real experts. They're doing reforestation projects across the world, right. um, and uh, and we've we've, we've you know we, we've got a collaboration with them. And and for every vehicle that somebody leases through us, which doesn't need to cost more, because actually a lot of the vehicles we've now got are, you know some of the best rates you can get in the market. Yeah. Um, but it, as included in all of that is that we will then pay these guys to plant a hundred trees. Right. Um, and that means that for every 100 vehicles that we lease, we plant 10,000 trees. Right. So right. 100 vehicles, 10,000 trees. Yeah. And so as an example, that's something we said that. People say things, but yeah. <laughs> again, we hashtag deliver. So uh, <laughs> so uh, that's what I think we should say at the Copenhagen COP26, by the way. Yeah. You know, that, that's it. You know, we, we, we know the issue with a, you know, the first generation to know, the last one has any chance to do about it. Come on, Mr. Boris Johnson. Hashtag deliver, yeah. you know, make that the strap line. Let's make this happen. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that would be fantastic because that's ultimately what we need to do. But um, you know, in, in terms of the trees, for every hundred vehicles that we lease, we plant ten thousand trees. So, good news, we're telling people now the first five thousand trees have been planted in Scotland. Wow. Um, for a really awesome regeneration project there. Um, you know, again, you need to have the right experts that plant the right trees. Well, right, and the right trees is important. the right trees yeah. and the right location. Yeah. You know, it's it's so important. Um, and the next 5,000 trees are being planted in Brazil because I think we've all heard about, you know, horrendous deforestation. Yeah. And so we're working on reforestation. So, right. you know, again, you lease, vehicle, lease electric vehicle from anybody, charge it any way you like. But, but please do also consider us um, because for every 100 vehicles that we 
that we lease will plant 10,000 trees. And right. if we can plant 10,000 or 20,000 or 30,000 or how many thousand trees yeah. a month, I mean, wouldn't that be epic? And yeah. it just kind of makes it easy for people to say, well, you know, if I, if I do this, the news guys will plant it. And by the way, everyone who has leased vehicles with us will, will be sending you your certificates for, right. uh, for the trees you planted. But anyway, it, it's, it's happening. And um, yeah, yeah just, just really excited to share that. But then the other word that's up there that some observant viewers may have spotted is auto charge. Yeah. Which is very interesting. So take me through auto charge because I think this is, in a way, the, the game changer. You know, I think, first of all, the hardware, you know, that's what you're putting in now, really, really important. But this next step, I yeah. think, is, is, yeah. is of equal importance. Thanks to all the brilliant people that have made this possible. Um, the, um, the objective, again, contactless payment. Is brilliant. It's fantastic. Um, it makes such a difference. But yeah. uh, there's something even better, and that's just to be able to turn up, plug in, walk away, and for an app in your pocket to say, "Oh, ready to go now," or yeah. "Did you know how much charge you've got?" Irrespective of any vehicle that you have, right. as opposed to uh, just the Tesla. Um, and the good news, and the other exciting thing to add today, is that we haven't, you know, this haven't just been here today. <laughs> I've also been to Toddington Services yeah. uh, to launch both the new brand, the Goods of Electric Highway. Uh, brand, but also to, to demonstrate auto charge. So uh, we have a short video which hopefully will play. So exciting to be here today uh, and to show you the new branding for the GridServe Electric Highway. Uh, what an exciting day. Uh, I'm at Toddington Services uh, and uh, I'm just heading towards the, the charger and I'm also here to show you something else incredibly exciting too. So I'm just going to open up the uh, charging uh, cover. Uh, pull out the uh, pull out the other covers, uh, and I'm going to pick up the CCS connector, and I'm going to show you auto charge. Now, auto charge is something that only Tesla drivers uh, have ever had the luxury so far to experience, um, and what I'm now about to show you is that's about to happen for everybody else as well. Because what I'm demonstrating now is auto charge um, on the UK motorway network being demonstrated for the very first time today. Um, it's, I plugged it in, I haven't used the contactless card as you can see. Um, it's just doing its connections in the background. And uh, if we just wait a couple, of, a couple of seconds. And it's working. There we go, charging. Um, very, very, very exciting um, to, show, uh, to show you that working. So, you know, just, 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 you know, what an exciting moment. So exciting to be here. Um, the Grid Serve Electric Highway, new branding, demonstrated the first time. Toddington at Toddington Services, <laughs> demonstrating auto charge on the UK motorway network for the very first time today. Awesome. How exciting. So that is, I mean, that is spectacular because that's a, you know, when, when people ask you about how you charge, if I'm in the Tesla, I go, I just plug it in. You know, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Whereas you then explain, well, you'd sometimes have to have an app or you're in a membership card or you have to ring them up or you do the thing when you scan the thing. And that just is incredible. You know, yeah. that, as that rolls out. So just take me through that. So you, you will be able to do that. You, do you have to have some sort of agreement or arrangement with the manufacturers? Uh, no, I mean it all happens in the in the in the back end of the right. technology. So because um, I've always every... thought that surely the charger can know what car it is that it's charging. Yeah, it it's does. Quite, yeah. I mean, well, it, it doesn't necessarily, but but there is a a unique ID for each right. vehicle. Um, and uh, and what we do is we um, is we're able to uh, you know if the customer, if, if people want. So there's a yeah. new app. There's a new app which right. um, which we'll be introducing soon. Again, we're testing it. We don't want to introduce stuff that isn't tested. No. Um, but I've had a you know a version of that running on my phone, um, uh, and uh, and that's how I was able to show auto charge just there. Right. Um, and what that does is that once you've connected and done a charging session, you've added your card. It says, "Do you want to remember me?" Right. right. So you don't this. even have to kind of add the VIN number of the car. Or no, no, like no, 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 no. Right. You, you plug it in, and it will say, "Oh, I've noticed that you're there. Would you like to remember me?" And you say, "Yes, you will." Um, and and that's done. Wow. And so next time you turn up. You uh, you just plug the vehicle in, um, and it starts charging. Right. Uh, and and the good thing about that is that it's really useful not just for people, but also because you can then build whoever you want in the background. So if you're a company, yeah, and you just want to you know your your fleet's vehicles to be built you know centrally, you can do that. If yeah. you're an individual, you you can do that. You can you can you can build on Apple Pay, you can build on whatever you want right. basically. And uh, and it's designed to be just incredibly easy. 
the next kind of level to it, as I mentioned, in journey planning is that once you've got the ability to, to do auto charge uh, and then journey planning, right. uh, you're then able to say, very similar to the Tesla experience, yeah. you know, I'm here, I want to go there. And, and it will say, right, you know, come in, um, you know, let me, do you want to know when you're ready to go? Yeah. Or do you want, should I let you know when you're doing that? Right. And so, and also we're really geeky. You can probably work that out. So we, you know, we love to know stuff like, you know, how many kilowatts am I doing? And what's yeah, my yeah. charging curve? And they're different between cars. And, you know, actually vehicles take a different amount of charge. Yeah. Um, if it's hot or it's cold or if you drive quickly or slowly. I mean, yeah. it, it, there's, there's just lots of variables to it. So what we're building is a system that will take into account those variables. So, you know, based on today's temperature, yeah. you know, and your journey that you're doing and, uh, and where you are, we think you should stop at this charger for this time because right. that will minimize your time for yes. your journey, depending on what vehicle you're using yeah. and, the, and a lot more, which yeah. I'd probably, you know, I'll leave to, but I mean, that, I'll leave but to another day. When you, log, when you do that, when you say, yes, I want you to remember me, it's, it's essentially remembering that car and the connection yeah. between that car and you. So you plug it in, but you know, you'll see the bill yeah. appears through that. Exactly. Yeah, which is exactly. fantastic. And it, and it will work in every, in every type yeah. of car. Um, at the moment with uh, with CCS, and we're obviously trying to work it through right. with the other uh, connections as well. Right. Um, but yeah, you know, it's uh, it's coming. You've seen it. It's yeah. been debuted. Auto charge, you know, <laughs> on the motorway network yes. today. So I was really very excited about that, <laughs> particularly I'll say, being at Tunnel. Hashtag deliver because I think that's very important. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so there's some there's some um, uh, questions that we've got in, um, which because people are now sending it. There's quite a lot of them. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So there we go. So they're saying, someone's saying, yes, there's a lot of charges around the country, but there are obviously their key areas. And they've, they've, they've quoted the Northeast and Wales as being areas where there's not very many charges. I know from experience yeah. that Wales is one of the more challenging areas of the, the, the damp island we live on to get a charge. Have you got plans to, to put charges around there? Absolutely. And again, this is the whole idea of the GridServe Electric Highway name, um, where we can say it's one network, wherever you are, you're charging on the grid of electric right. highway and and it's uk wide and it's actually one of our um one of our pieces in our in our um our customer charter inclusive right you know inclusive for you know people with different you know different um accessibility needs and so on and, and also the right type of charging solutions um so that you've got the right solutions in the right places and it's across the country yeah so we have charges today from land's end to john o'groats right. <laughs> to right. put it in perspective today <laughs> operating yeah um, and, uh, and, you know, and it doesn't, you, know, you can't build an electric forecourt everywhere because no. that doesn't make sense. Yeah. And neither can you build a, you know, a 12 power, you know, 350 kilowatt hub everywhere, but you can build something everywhere to serve that need. Um, cause pretty much if there are people charging, you know, living there that they'll need the charging solutions. And anyway, yeah. we intend to deliver that. And the way we look at it is it's a whole network approach. Um, and that's what we need to do. Yeah. Um, there's the next question, which I think you've actually answered, which is about, you know, will, will auto charge technology be available to individuals as well as leasing companies? But I think you, you basically said it will. So we know it definitely will. Yeah. It will be available to everybody. Right. Everybody who has an electric car yes. yeah. who uses the network. Yeah. Um, and that's the whole idea. Yeah. Make it simple. Plug in. It also makes it more reliable as well, right. by the way, because the, the challenge with charges and, and we're experiencing this at the moment with all the different pieces that you're integrating. Yeah is that sometimes the charger will give a message like, yeah. you know, power is delayed when it isn't actually delayed. Right. There is a uh, communication issue in right. one of the widgets. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that's... So you're minimizing that number of communication. You minimize those. And, and, and so I, I did that, actually. I, I right. went to a charger and it gave me that message. And I said, I know there isn't power delayed. <laughs> I, know yeah. it's, I know it's fine. You know, and for those sites, by the way, we're also upgrading the comms in the area, right. too. So yeah. we're putting dishes on and, and fixing it. Right. Um, so, uh, you know, when you have auto charge, you plug it in, and then in the background, it does all of its syncs, all of its setting up. And when it's happy with it, it takes a few seconds to think, yeah. and then it kicks in and it works. And that will be, I think, the most reliable way of charging. Yeah, yeah. this is a good one. Uh, will there be canopies at locations? Any plans for more enclosed sites? I mean, it certainly is something I've done that where I've been, where it's been pouring with rain, and there's a, a petrol station over there, and they've got a nice big roof, and I'm standing soaked in the rain plugging in a high-powered high charger, which is safe in the rain. I just think it's important to point that out. Yeah, you know, it's again, it's, but it's, a it's, big, it's, it's a the a whole part of the customer step. experience. Whilst yeah. I love, you know, sunshine, we all love sunshine, and we're building a sun to wheel kind of ecosystem, it isn't always sunny in England, yeah. you know, we, we confess this. Um, and it's sometimes rainy, although we might rain too. Um, and so what we're building, you know, here at Brains, we've got, we've got a canopy, and we want to put canopies everywhere. Yeah. So we actually have one of the first service stations that we're 
uh, upgrading uh, with an electric hub is in Cornwall Services. Right. Uh, and that's happening in, in this more tech we're going to announce soon about that. There's some, some other secret right. things we've got, oh, got going that we, 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 we're developing on that site too. But that's got a canopy. Right. Uh, and that's the first one with the canopy. Right. Um, it might not happen exactly the same time because we're trying to get them in you know, quickly. Yeah. Um, but it's coming very quickly. And, and we plan to put canopies wherever we can. Um, it's not always possible. There are planning constraints and so on. So we've to, to deliver uh, 50 sites in six weeks, we, <laughs> we're replacing yes. charges. Yeah. We'll need to tweak as well. Some of the things we've replaced, we'll need to go back and you know optimize probably. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to get it done quickly for people. Yeah. Um, and then add canopies, you know, add LEDs that people can see from a distance which charging bays are available. Right. Yeah. Um, so we're 100% all over that. Right. And also solar energy. You know, yeah. <laughs> because if you can get solar energy directly <laughs> into your vehicles, that's If you're that's putting a roof up, you might as well put it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is also a good one. Because it's a thing that we, you know, classically, I've never really considered as an old white man. But it's, as it says, some existing charges are in distant cor corners of large car parks, not necessarily lit. Uh, Maddie Moat, who presents on Fully Charged, was using an electric car and she found a charger and it worked. But she didn't feel safe. She was in the corner of a dark car park at night. You know that. So, is there anything you're doing to address that? I mean, I think most of the chargers on the motorway services are in well-lit motorway service areas, aren't they? They're not. They're yeah. not generally in the back of a. Yeah, I mean, again, shady car I've park. had a lot of experiences over the years, and I've had exactly those. I've had yeah. some really quite hairy ones um, that I didn't want to get out of the vehicle. Right. Um, you know, and if you need to get out get of a toilet, for yeah. example, yeah. that's and your vehicle's charging. It's <laughs> It's a pretty horrible experience, yeah. really. And that's, you know, so we do look, you know, part of what we're doing and part of our, you know, process is making sure we build charging infrastructure that's um, that's in the right location yeah. for people. And safety is so important. You know, it's it's actually more important than anything else. I yeah. Think. Yeah. And so that's one of the, that's the S in our customer charter. Sa right. Safety. Oh, there we go. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it includes safety of the equipment, safety of, you know, and if there are things we can do better, we obviously want to know. Um, but... You know, safety is something you can't compromise on, and we're we're, we're not just thinking about the the charging. Um, you know, we're also thinking about the locations, and we're also thinking about what happens if you know if things you know there's an issue with the charger. Well, actually, it's not often it's not always the chargers, as you know no, no, well. Yeah. So when people try and plug the vehicle and it doesn't work, they say it's the charger, but actually. It's often not. It's often the vehicle. Yeah. And because the vehicle has to communicate to the charger tell how much power it, it needs take, and so yeah. on and sometimes that just they don't you know they don't talk yeah. well you know one yeah. speaking one dialect and one speaks another one they don't speak so well and sometimes there's just glitches and things that you know what well, we can try and restart things and so on if we can but um but we can't always get get people out and so we think well okay what happens now if uh, has happened to me in the past if someone's in a pretty hairy location they can't charge um and uh you know and they're with their family and they yeah. need to get how do you do that and so we're looking beyond the charging to okay, let, let's make this easy for people. Yeah. You know, but if it's our fault, let's let's you know particularly yes. let's make it easy for people. Yeah. So safety is very important, um, and uh, and we're going through many ways to, to work through that. Um, there was a question about the maps. Okay, so uh, w would you look to open to WhatsApp and plug share, but so other map, you know, uh, electric uh, charging maps. So plug, I've got plug share definitely, and WhatsApp. Yeah, in fact, I've got both those on my phone. I think. Yeah, so we, we want to be very inclusive, um, but we also need to think it through quite carefully. And we've also just like done um, done so much in a fairly yeah. short amount of time. Um, you know, we'll be introducing soon. We'll be announcing soon. You know, we have a press release about it Im imminently um, that we've we've signed up to uh, you know a particular roaming agreement, which is which is good. Um, we're you know keen to have our charges on other maps and other. You know, we, we want to yeah. make it easy for people. Yeah. But we're also just careful, you know. What we don't want to inadvertently do is, just because something sounds good, it isn't necessarily good. Yeah. And so we want to think it through. Um, you know, we want to make the more. So the short answer to the question is yes. The other the other answer, which I'm kind of heading towards, is, you know, roaming, for example, is, in principle, could be amazing, but also could have a lot of issues. Yeah. Because when you add a roaming partner in the middle you could end up costing the customer more right. and reducing transparency and this, is, this is the idea that you go up to a n other charger plug in and you start charging but using your software backbone because it recognizes the car yeah that stuff could yeah. get very and what it yeah. effectively means is that there's a middle person and they want to be paid money as yeah. well because they can't deliver it yeah and you know and sometimes customers don't know what they've paid 
yeah. until they get, until a, they get a, bill. You know, a bill and they're like, wait a second, I didn't, agree. well, yeah. no, you did agree to that. It's in those. Yeah. So again, it just, we want this really good customer experience. We don't want people to say, well, I use your charger grid serve yeah. and, uh, and therefore, you know, and I got billed that it's your fault and yeah. you've signed a roaming agreement. And so we're, we're like, Ugh. yeah. So yeah. we're open to all of this. Right. We want to deliver the best customer experience. We want to improve the economics for electric vehicle drivers. Um, but we're not just going to suddenly go, we're going to accept everything yeah. Um, because we just need to think it through. Yeah, yeah. But we're open. Yes. Fully open. I mean, it's not impossible, is it? Because it's not impossible you could do a deal with, you know, a mutual deal with someone. I don't know, another big charging network that means that Yeah. you have... Because what you want in the end is it to be as simple as possible. So, you know, if, 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 if I've got a different app, but it means I can use any grid serve charger without it being a massive, you know, comp from me, massive complexity, and you can work that out, then that's yeah. good. And that's why as a base level, as I said, we, we've got contactless payment, you know, because pretty right, much yes, everyone these yes. days has that They're anyway. They're all going to have that, yeah. So, uh, yeah. so yeah, the, you know, the answer question is we're, you know, other plug share, et cetera, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, yeah. Absolutely, of course. Is it, um, if we haven't done it yet, you know, things, it's because we've just been doing quite a lot. Yeah. So we are keen to do it. And, and as I said, we're, we're open for business, we're open for partnerships, we want to do the right thing. But some things we will just think through. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, I can understand. Absolutely. Understand. Everything we probably think. I think through. this is for a last question. I think this one is really good. It just, it's, I'll read it out. Greetings from America in the state of Maine. Can you bring grid serve stateside? Yes. <laughs> there yeah. you go. You've got your answer. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, we'd love to. I mean, like, you know, it's not it's not straightforward to um, to do what we do. No. Um, particularly when you bring the whole sun to wheel system, building hybrid solar farms, you know, batteries, electric forecourts, electric hubs, electric vehicle leasing, uh, all of the tech that knits it together, auto charge, journey planning, etc. Yeah. Um, but we've, um, but we've done that, you know, yeah. and we're getting better at it every day. Um, and the world needs it. You know, yeah. if we solve climate change in England, and we achieve net zero in England, then uh, we're not going to, you know, we're, no. we're not going to do it, you know, yeah. but, but what it does do is it, you know, it gives us a real leadership position. Um, and position of authority because we're practicing what we preach in the UK. Yeah. You know, we're really getting on with it. Um, and so, you know, from our perspective, we, we think of everything that we've achieved so far as like DNA. You know, like yeah. the, the, the blueprints, as yes. it were. Um, and we're thinking through every day how we can both improve what we do in the UK, make it better and better, um, but also how we can outreach beyond the UK. Yeah. Um, because everyone base everywhere basically, you know, anyone who's gonna move to electric vehicles needs this, kind needs, of needs this sort yeah. of network yeah. needs needs you know solutions that work locally solutions that work on journeys yeah. technology that makes it easy um and hopefully you know vehicle electric vehicle leasing as well yeah. um that that makes it affordable yeah. and in and easy as well that's the wonderful thing about leasing because people used to say a few years ago they used to say uh, but what about my battery you know like how much yeah. is that going to be worth and what's my vehicle going to be worth and if you lease a vehicle, that's that's kind of not, that's really not your, your real issue anymore. No. You say, I spend this much a month. Yeah. It can include energy. You know, as I mentioned, yeah. we've got an option that includes can include all your energy anywhere on the grid serve electric right. highway. Um, and we plant 100 trees. And hopefully it will cost you less than, you know, definitely less than petrol and diesel, but hopefully less than, than, uh, than you know, than other options as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. I think that is amazing. Unless you have any other pertinent thing you need to say to him but I mean I think we're, we're, we've certainly reached our yeah our so I, I, I just wanted to thank do you a, do Robert. a roundup but I just wanted to thank <laughs> you um, for just being so awesome you know fully charged show is, is is incredible we're a huge supporter of yours you know what you've done for us in terms of helping us raise the profile the videos you've done has just been epic um, you know so, so Robert hopefully no, is coming well, in, it's, in very, the it's, weeks. it's fairly no, it's very mutual also I, I just want to say to people if you've got an electric car and you haven't been to Braintree it's worth the trip <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, you know, and if you if you haven't got an electric car and you want to lease one, please come yeah, and please also, come talk please to come our, have a look. Our, our electric vehicle leasing business. And thank you for everybody for joining, obviously as well. Um, you know, we, we're doing our best. Um, there's things we can do better. Please bear with us. Please do give us feedback um, about what we can do better. Rather not be shouted at, but if we need to be, that's okay. Um, and uh, polite you know, shouting. We'll, yeah, we, we'll do our very very best. Uh, but together, you know, we collectively need to hashtag deliver and. Uh, hopefully today has been helpful uh, in explaining some of the initiatives we've been up to. There's a lot more coming, um, and uh, just again, huge, you know, huge thanks to, to Robert. Um, you know, looking forward to your fully charged show yes. in uh, in September. That's going to be epic. So please, <laughs> please come yeah. along, yeah. fully charged outdoors. 
Uh, and just again, thank you for thank you for everyone. Thank you for an amazing team, for everyone at GridServe. You know, I'm here talking, but I couldn't do any of this stuff without these amazing wizards here from you know our compartments at Fever Trison uh, to support uh, to support you know our virtual fireside chat. You know, the people in the field looking after solar projects. You know, putting in uh, putting in electric vehicle charging. Um, you know, our investors for backing us, supporting us. You know, media for kind of covering. Um, just kind of everybody, really. You know. To, to making this this happen. So yeah. thank you for everybody. You're all awesome. You're amazing. And you know, together we will make this happen. Excellent. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>